Explore Python development tools. This course has some basic expectations for students that they have some background in Python and some hands-on experience with programming. Lab practice with Python gives your fingers the muscle memory to work more efficiently in Python. Initially, it is important for you to know how to maintain a Python development environment. In this lab, you review Python installation, PIP, and Python virtual environments. Require resources, one PC with operating system of your choice, VirtualBox or VMware, and DevNet Associate Virtual Machine. Launch the DevNet Associate Virtual Machine. If you have not already completed the lab, install the Virtual Machine Lab environment do so now. If you have already completed the lab, launch the DevNet Associate Virtual Machine. Review the Python installation. Okay, go to VirtualBox. DevNet Associate Virtual Machine start. Review the Python installation. These commands give you basic methods for learning more about the local Python environment. In the virtual machine, you can check the version of Python. Use this command. Uh, open a terminal. Use Python 3 dash B, B uppercase. Now you can see the version 382. To see the directory for the local Python environment, use which Python 3? Okay, use the which command and this is the directory of the environment usr bing python 3 pip and python built on environments pip stands for pip installs packages Many people first learn about pip and start using pip3 install commands on the system-wide Python installation. When you run pip3 install command on your system, you may introduce competing dependencies in your system installation that you may or may not want for all Python projects. Therefore, the best practice is to enable a Python virtual environment, then install only the packages that are needed for the project in a, that virtual environment. That way, you know exactly which packages are installed in a given setting. You can switch those package dependencies easily when switching to a new virtual environment and not break or cause problems to to competing versions of software. To install a Python virtual environment, use the VM tool in Python 3 and then activate the virtual environment. Okay. Create a Python 3 virtual environment. Inside the virtual machine, 
change the labs debnet source Python directory. Okay, first uh, go to the directory cd for change directory and go to uh, labs, press tab to complete uh, debnet dash tab to complete and fido fido tab enter okay now you are on the directory remember the directory is placed on your home directory enter the following command to use the bm tool to create a fido 3 virtual environment with the name debfun the M switch tells Python to run the BM module. The name is chosen by the programmer. Okay, uh, Python 3. Uh, run the module. The module is uh, BM for virtual environment and choose any name choose any name of the virtual environment in this case is the font Enter. ready activate and test the file 3 virtual environment Activate the virtual environment. The prompt changes to indicate the name of the environment you are currently working in, which is depth found in this example. Now, when you use the pip3 install command form here, the system will only install packages for the active virtual environment. Okay, use source depth. Depth fun is the name of the virtual environment being activated. Okay, enter depth fun virtual environment now is active. Now you are on the virtual environment depth fun. And now run the pip3 freeC command to verify that there are no additional FIDO packages currently installed in the DAPFUN environment. pip3 freeC. Okay, this command to activate. Uh, once you are on the virtual environment, in this case the name is DAPFUN, you can verify the additional packages with FreeC, pip3 FreeC, and no packages. Now install the file on request package within the debfun environment. Okay, install the install the request package. Pip3 install requests. P3 install request. Enter. Okay, successfully install it. Re-enter the pip3 freezy command to see the packages now installed in the devfun environment. Okay, and repeat pip3 freezy. Now you can see the, the packages. Okay, this is requests. Is this cert? This is sort IDNA IDNA 
URL lib3 is this URL lib3 char set normalizer is this char set normalizer you only want to install the request package but always are necessary some packages these packages are the dependencies to deactivate the virtual environment and go back to your system enter the deactivate command deactivate this is your system check the current packages installed in the system environment enter the system wide 5 on 3 and for module pip 3c command to see what packages are installed in the system environment because 5 on 3 is invoked with the following command you only use pip instead of pip3 Okay, uh, 5 on 3 module pip and freeze. Enter. Now you can see all the packages. This is to verify the packages, the installed packages on the system environment. And this another to verify the packages on a virtual environment. If you want to quickly find the version of a package installed, pipe the output to the grep command. Enter the following to see the version of the request package currently installed. So use the pipe and the grep command. Repeat the previous, uh, the previous command, but use the pipe and use the grep command to filter and show only the lines with the keyword requests okay execute this command with filter the output to show only the lines with the requests keyword now you can see this I'm very good sharing your virtual environment the output of pip3 freezy command is in a, a specific format for a reason you can use all the dependencies listed so that other people who want to work on the same project as you can get the same environment as yours a developer can create a requirements file switch as a requirement.txt by using the pip3 freezy and redirect the output to the requirements.txt file then another developer can from another activated virtual machine use the pip3 install option r and use the requirements.txt file to install all the packages required by the project Okay, reactivate the depth from virtual environment. Repeat the previous command. This source depth from activate. Okay, very good. You are on the virtual environment. And use pip3 freezy and redirect the output 
of the of the command and redirect to this file requirements.txt. So repeat the previous command pip3 3c. Okay, I don't have the character, but I will use the another terminal. Manual ASCII and copy this. Requirements.txt. Enter. Now deactivate the dev form virtual environment, and you can use the ls command to see that the requirements.txt file is in the file on directory. Okay, deactivate. And list. This is the file requirements.txt. You can verify the contents. You can use cat, for example, for requirements.txt. This is Create and activate a new file on virtual environment called dev new. Okay, and I repeat the previous command. With, with different name, you can use file on three module virtual environment and create the new virtual environment called dev new. You can use any name, but in this case, it's dev new. Remember, you are on this directory on labs devnet source file. Enter. Very nice, very nice. And activate. The new environment is dev new. Activate. Enter. Now you are on dev new environment. You can verify using uh, pip 3 free c Okay, no packages. And now install pip3 install r to read this file, the requirements.txt file. So pip3 will install the packages listed on the requirements file p3 install option r and requirements the txt enter okay successfully installed verify p3 freezy very good. Now, uh, dev new virtual environment has the same packages that dev fun virtual environment. The same packages that dev fun virtual environment. They activate the dev new virtual environment. They activate. Very nice. Thank you.